Okay guys, Eric from HBE. I am making a pretty short video in regards to a comment that a gentleman left about what I use, where I get it, as far as materials go, because he's sick of buying stuff from Tandy. And I still get stuff from Tandy. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, uh, for basic holster leather, I use horsehide, cowhide, steerhide, and bullhide. For exotics, you name it, ostrich leg and quill, stingray, water buffalo, elephant, uh, caiman, gator, hippo, croc, elephant, shark, you name it. Um, I'll show you what I use and give you the best advice I can to where to get it. So, over here, this is horse hide. Okay, forgive the dust up here. Um, horse hide only comes from one place. Now, forgive me, Canadians, I think you're weird. You raise horses and treat them just like we do cows. So, there's a lot of horse hide that Canadians end up with, and they ship it down the Great Lakes to a small city called Chicago. There is a tannery called Horween Leather. That's where every bit of horse hide you're ever going to get is going to come from. Now, you can get horse hide in soft rolled, hard rolled, in lighter weights like 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 9. Uh, those are ounces. And I typically stick with 5 to 7 because I use it for inside the waistband. That, that's a good, bait, you know, a good weight for that. Um, so anyway, you can get it from Horween directly. You can get it from larger distributors like Springfield. They carry it too. Um, cowhide. Cowhide you can tell because it definitely has that rough side. Now, cowhide, you either want to use Herman Oak, A or B grade. I don't like their TR, their tannery run. Um, I like their A and B grade a lot. God, I love it. Wicket and Craig. They both have either tooling leather or holster leather, and both of those are tanned with a proper temper and density that it works really, really, really well for holsters. Okay. Now, why I mentioned Tandy earlier is they've got a little side or a double shoulder called Euro Tan, which the stuff, it's expensive as crap, but if you're in a pinch, that stuff edges, molds, dyes, just like butter. Anyway. Also, I use a lot of bull hide, steer hide. You can tell that because it's a lot smoother. Um, anyway, we've got water buffalo here. We've got some strange, like wildebeest right here. Uh, elephant, shark, shark right here, elephant, shark, 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 uh, caiman, shark, more elephant. I've got hippo right here, I've got ostrich leg, um, exotics are kind of, I don't know, if you want either croc, caiman, or gator, I would call a guy named Henry at Ostrich Market in Florida, tell him I sent you, the guy offers service, um, honestly, if, if I could offer the level of service that Henry does, I'd be doing good. I, I like to think that I'm pretty close there anyway. But as far as the others go, elephant, shark, um, ostrich, you know, you can get them from basically any of the larger distributors, okay? Check pricing. Their prices on square foot, which is usually how they're sold, can range by 10 or 15 bucks a square foot for the same thing. Um, now keep in mind, most exotics can be dyed, okay? So if, if you find a purple or a pink shark hide and it's god-awful cheap, buy it. Dye it black, okay? There you go. Um, I will make another video on how to use exotics, what their strong points are, what their weak points are, how they are to work with, what exotics you'd rather blow your brains out than try and make a holster with. Um, Anyway, I hope that was informative, and as usual, leave your comments below, and if you have any questions, leave those below too. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.